Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. As we continue with This is America, Charlie Brown, the Peanuts special miniseries, I'm going to review episode 4, which aired on November 11, 1988, called The NASA Space Station. It's where Linus, who is working on a science fair project, which is the space station, and he dreamt that he himself, along with Charlie Brown, Sally, Lucy, Pigpen, Franklin, Peppermint Patty, and of course Snoopy and Woodstock who are traveling in outer space. It stars Aaron Chase as Charlie Brown, Brendan Stewart as Linus Ben Pelt, Erica Gale as Lucy, Brittany Forden as Sally Brown, Grant Gilt as Franklin, Jason Mendelson as Peppermint Patty, Frank Welker as Jason Welker, <laughs> yeah, the news anchor, sort of like the Walter Cronkite for its time. Greg Berger as mission control speaker, yeah, because he's around controlling the, the crew. Bill Melendez as Snoopy and Woodstock. It's created and written by Charles M. Schultz, and it's directed by Sam Gimes. The episode begins when the Peanuts gang are working on a model of the NASA Space Station project for the science fair tomorrow. Linus is working his best in order for him to win, but Charlie Brown isn't doing so well. However, Snoopy is doing much better than any of them. Then Linus had a dream about traveling in outer space during those 30 days, along with Charlie Brown, Sally, Lucy, Pigpen, Franklin, Pepper and Patty, Snoopy, and Woodstock. News anchor of the television news network, yeah, Walter Cronkite type, named Jason Welker, is reporting on the launch with eight crew members on board. Lucy is their commander guide, with Franklin holding the mic, to give a brief tour of the entire space station all the way all filled with zero gravity the main areas are the laboratory Moglo for experiments the laboratory Moglo where they can eat, exercise, and sleep Pepper Patty is the physical instructor where she is on the cycling bike for exercise then the sleeping place that has eight separate areas with a bedroom, den, and a living space the size of a small closet. Next is the space shower where Pigpan is taking a nice clean shower with all these uh, drop by drop water particles all over his body. Then later he was on the cleaning machine on a giant uh, spacesuit, so almost making him look like uh, he has a huge head. <laughs> While they went into the kitchen, that's where Charlie Brown is the chief cook and bottle washer, which they have microwaves, refrigerator, freezer, and a dishwasher. With Snoopy floating around while eating. <laughs> a separate dish in zero gravity. The laboratory section, which is like a mobile home, which is about 40 feet wide, and Linus is conducting some animal experiments with Woodstock flying in zero gravity in an awkward position. Even Lucy offers Charlie Brown to kick the football in zero gravity, and of course pulls it away Unfortunately, the crew is very stressful, as it seems. Lucy is the worst commander. Snoopy sleeps and eats more than he should. Pepper and Patty is wearing them out with more exercise. And Charlie Brown has problems cooking the food in the kitchen. But it gets worse as there was an emergency from the station when the mission control speaker had found out that there was a crash that damaged the solar panels. So, Charlie Brown and Snoopy decided to put on their spacesuits to go outside 
and fix the solar panels with Lucy controlling all the buttons and was completed until the wires have been crossed going completely out of control with all the the machines uh, in the space station but in the end the crew are exploring earth and space on the corner but then Lucy had threw Linus's security blanket outside of the branch, you know, just after Charlie Brown and Snoopy had, had came back, or at this rate, left. But Linus woke up in fear, because it turns out that it was a dream. But then finally, the gang are getting ready for the science fair, and it turns out at the end, Snoopy Wood Woodstock had won first prize on his project. <laughs> yeah. Definitely a breathtaking but wonderful uh, special about the NASA space station. I mean, having a show, the Peanuts game, you know, traveling in outer space, even though this was Linus's dream. I mean, who would imagine kids actually going up in outer space? I mean, that would have been interesting. So they're just doing all these antics all the way around, exploring and all that. Had a lot of great moments here and there, as I mentioned, with, with Snoopy you know, floating around while eating his supper. His yeah, supper dish was moving around in zero gravity. Or even laying down on his doghouse, upside down, too. <laughs> yeah. But man, Lucy was such a jerk, though. You know, because he's always uh, teasing uh, his brother Linus by throwing the blanket out of outer space outside. I mean, that was very cruel. But, of course, this was Linus's dream, as I mentioned. So it never happened. <laughs> or even the moment at the end of the special where Snoopy and Woodstock dressed up as astronauts and they built a giant space station <laughs> all around like it was a parade. <laughs> and in the end, they won their first prize. <laughs> and Linus just went completely nuts saying to Charlie Brown, Sometimes your dog drives me crazy! <laughs> oh, that, that was cool. But that's where he created the solar panels and, and the, the stair steps of the space station. It was really nice to see all the the NASA space station models that they had. It, it looks really cool. And it was uh, beautifully animated too when they show all the shots of the NASA space station and the the controls and, and the look of the spaceships everywhere. I mean, this, this is amazing. And all the satellites around, the solar panels and all of that. And even the look of space with Earth on the side and they basically wonder what Earth looks like. I mean this is really amazing. I mean having to go to outer space is really refreshing and beautiful too. See now you know how wonderful it is to go into outer space in the space station and and move around in zero gravity. You can do whatever you want over there. But they're there for control. Yeah, it had a wonderful score by Dave Brubeck, which had that uh, that an amazing but very wonderful uh, flute score that they put into it. it. It really works, and I really love it. So it just makes it so beautiful, and I, I love the moments when <laughs> Snoopy was uh, fighting with uh, with that. Uh, carrying machine, yeah, that robotic machine that they used to carry the, the astronauts. So that way they can help them out. <laughs> yeah, of course, Snoopy beats the crap out of it and all that. And, and then, of course, um, Snoopy was arguing to Charlie Brown 
that he wanted to be able to say his uh, his moments. I thought that was cool. <laughs> yeah. They did have some trouble trying to fix the solar panels because it was going out of control. But in the end, it worked. I highly recommend this episode. This was really cool. So anyway, um, I'm going to continue with some more of This is America, Charlie Brown miniseries episodes um, as I follow. But I'm going to take a break uh, for now because um, I'm just getting ready for a party that's coming up uh, tomorrow. <laughs> so by then I'm just going to take a break to do some more episodes until we finally finished. So four more to go. And we're done. So anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.